This is life changing for me. Um, and as I said before, I've for, to see Adelaide see this as an opportunity to do something about is a world first. It's exciting to think that we have a wellbeing and resilience centre for one and that, that people are caring about prevention and but doing it in a in a fantastic way that we're equipping people with skills. What I wasn't expecting is the uh, the level of detail and 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 depth of this content. Um, being able to train other people or, or, or spread this ideal um, is something very exciting to me and I'm really looking forward to sharing it with my family. You know, we got to have a look at the, the agenda for the course and I thought, yeah, that's, yeah, that's all stuff I know a bit about. And uh, so I, I came in with an open mind, but um, it's been better than I thought it would be. So to be perfectly honest, it's, the delivery of it has, has been really, really good. And um, so, yeah, I've, I've been surprised at, at how good it's been. I also really like the concept of, you know, boosting wellbeing. So it's not looking at a deficit model and it's not looking at pathology or illness, but it's looking at how can we make things even better? What is right with you? And how can we build on that so that when these rough times do come along, as they invariably will, because that's life, how can you be buffered or immunised against these adverse effects using the skills that you already know? So um, I, I think a lot of the, the techniques are really practical and for me practicality and pragmatism is just so important because no, no, one size doesn't fit all you know I, I, and I'd hate to think that people use this as a one size fits all because it doesn't you know you got to look at you, you got to look at your client base you got to look at the context to look at look at the environment they're in and tailor this stuff and fortunately the way they presented the information and the resources is it allows to be very much tailored and made specific so I actually think the skills are relevant to any business and any organisation because um, really to any human being um, because they are really evidence based so it's very clear that individuals who use these skills will have a higher level of engagement, a higher level of well-being and higher resilience which means that when things go wrong they'll have the tools available to deal with whatever challenges they faced in a way that is most productive for them. And I guess for my work, most productive for the organisation as well. But one of the big things was um, active, um, constructive responses. The importance of listening, um, not being destructive in responses. And just a lot of the need to slow down your thinking, that's um, come into it as well. Um, event, um, thought, reactions, looking at your physical reactions or your emotional reactions and really thinking those through before shooting your mouth off. Also talked about strategies of mindfulness, being more present in the moment. Things like balance your thinking, which is a very simple tool to work out. Am I jumping to conclusions? Um, am I only looking for evidence that I want to see? They call it cultivating gratitude, which is really just you know, finding the positives in your situation and, and um, you know, consciously finding positives in a situation and, and taking a moment to think about the things that are going well and things that you're grateful for. Another thing is actually the networking here. It's been just terrific catching up with other people, like-minded people who are really keen to make a positive difference to the lives of others. It's a, it's a compliment to the facilitators for, that, for them to create that, that energy. I mean, if we could bottle that energy and take it out there, the world would change right now.